Hey guys, just doing another quick one. Uh, this one's on the blue tablet chlorine floaters. Just wanted to talk about those for a minute here. So we got this pool here and you know, everything appeared to be fine. And the homeowner cleans it himself, you know, so typical pool here and they're, they're always constantly using, you know, the three inch chlorine tablets. So it's trichlor. And the problem with that is you got cyanuric acid which is also stabilizer in those tablets and it's constantly increasing the amount of stabilizer in the pool so you got this 15,000 gallon pool you put in maybe you know three or four of those in the summer you know if you're trying to get the chlorine up and you know by the end of summer you know your 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 stabilizer level is just over a hundred parts per million and uh, it's gonna ruin your water. You know, you get high conditioner levels like that, and you're gonna get calcium nodules on your on your plaster. It's gonna decrease your killing power of your chlorine by 50% when it gets to 100, and it's gonna decrease it even more after that. So um, you're gonna be spending a lot more money on chemicals if your conditioner level gets too high. So the best way to maintain a pool by taking this guy out. You want to take this blue floater out of your pool and just feed your pool liquid chlorine. You can do that with a liquid chlorine pump. Usually you need a liquid chlorine pump. You need something that's going to feed the liquid every single day. If you, you know, if you tell your pool guy to take that floater out, he's going to come there once a week and shock your pool and the chlorine is going to be too high. So you need something that's going to slowly feed liquid chlorine every day. And with li just straight liquid chlorine, it's not going to raise your, your conditioner level. Uh, it's going to increase the life of your water. You're not going to get calcium nodules and you're going to, you're going to, you should be saving money on, on chemicals because it's going to keep the killing power of your chlorine high. So I'd say majority of people are sanitizing their pool using this guy this thing this thing does not belong in your pool it's for maybe when you go on vacation and you gotta throw a tablet or two in there um, my pool route I got I have a bunch of those and uh, we're working on getting all of them out you know it's this drawn out process but we you know it's the right thing to do it's, uh, that's all